In this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to use the WAP data that came with the software in order to effectively import terrain data into UC WinRoad based on a given location. In this case, I'm going to be using a location in Australia. And you can see that side by side I have Google Earth and UC WinRoad open. And I'm going to first go to my UC WinRoad data directory, which is located on the C drive. The default location is just is the root of C and then UC WinRow data 6.0 because I'm using 6 in this case. Go into the data folder and just make sure you copy whatever WAP files you're going to use into this directory because that's where UC WinRow sees them. So once that file's in there, I'm going to go to new project in the load screen here, other countries. And once I click on other countries, you can see under country, if I click down, now Australia is in my drop down menu. And also, because of region, I have two WAP files in that folder, Queensland and Western Australia. Queensland will be the one that I'll be picking, because that's where my test file is. And while that's loading that, I'm going to click over to Google Earth, and I'm going to move my to my test place, which is in the Queensland area of Australia. And the thing you want to do is you want to right-click the the test place and go to properties. In this case I already have mine set. Make sure that your your uh, latitude and longitude are set to decimal degrees and you can do that under tools options. And just make sure, I think the default is degrees minutes seconds, but just make sure it's show lat long is set to decimal degrees. Then I would right click this and right click your pin wherever you want to place it and hit properties and you'll just need these t the, the latitude and longitude here. And in the UC WinRoad side, now that we have that selected there is some options here that you can pick 16 by 16 kilometers 16 by 32 this is just the the big the tiles you can pick so you can make it up to four tiles each tile being 16 by 16 so we're going to want to zoom in to approximately the area of Australia that we're looking at and now what I'm going to want to do is go back to minimize this so I can see still see the over here so my latitude's negative 27.73 and I can still zoom in more so I can just make sure that I'm in the right square I'm only going to be doing a 16 by 16 terrain in this one so negative 27.72 oh 27.77 so okay, so here's seven six and there's seven eight, so seven seven is right here. So I'm on this line and then one fifty two point nine three. So one fifty two still scrolling to find it. Point nine would be this row here. And then over to the my row that had twenty seven point seven in it. So it would be this square right here. So once I have that square selected, all I got to do is click OK. Oh, no, that's not all I have to do. Up here in the top right corner is your location settings. I've already made a location for Queensland, Australia. In a previous previous tutorial that I made, I made, I went over how to create your own location settings for your exact area. So it would be good to go over that one. But here I'm going to select Queensland, Australia, so it's already set in my file. I'm going to click OK. Now it is setting the location settings and loading my terrain in. Take a minute to do that. I can close this in the meantime. Okay, now. I'm going to go to my plan view, and just so you can see the similarity between them, you can obviously see that where my test location is and where this is, there's clearly the mountains that are around the same area, and if I hover over, if I go to my properties again and if I hover over where 27 point you can see right here 
that my latitude and longitude are responding accordingly. Fortunately, now that is showing as degrees, minutes, seconds. So I'm going to switch it back just so you can see it. So it's 274410. So somewhere about this area is where my test place was and you can see on this side that it is exactly the same terrain as it is in here now if I click OK and I go out of here you can see that there's mountains all around one thing I'm going to do really quick is just change my terrain visibility to 10,000 just so you can see that I did in fact import mountains to the west of the area that I was looking at so that's basically it that's how you import the WAP data and into the correct location for your country and in the next tutorial I'll go over how to properly lay a satellite image from Google Earth into UC Wind Road in the spot that you want it in thanks